Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to try out Lamel. Lamel is a makeup brand that launched in India a few days ago and ever since its launch, I have been getting a lot of comments and a few DMs too to review the products. It's available on Nykaa and Hawk Makeup. Those are the couple of websites on which I spotted this brand. So yeah, I bought all the products that looked interesting to me to try them in front of the camera. Other than that, I will say that the price range is more on the affordable side. Most of the products were under Rs. 500. That's all I want to say. Now let's try out these products. I've already prepped my skin and I am going to start with the foundation. This is the Lamel Smart Skin Serum Tinted Foundation. This has Hyaluronic Acid and SPF 30+. I have got the shade Medium Beige and I have already tried this foundation. First of all, I really like the packaging. This has got a pump and it comes in a tube. There are just four shades of this foundation available on Nykaa, but actually I checked on Lamel's official website. There are about 11 or 12 shades of this foundation available on their official website. So I guess they launched just four shades on Nykaa. The shade works really well for me, but I don't think that there are shades for really deep skin tones or very light skin tone. Now this is supposed to be a hydrating foundation since this has hyaluronic acid and it also has an SPF of 30 plus. This is a serum foundation, so I was expecting it to be more on the lightweight very liquidy side but it's actually very thick it has a very thick consistency let me just show you the consistency you can see how thick that is it does blend really well though so i'm just going to use my sponge to blend it i will say that you have to work fast with this foundation you don't want it to set in a certain area it looks very skin like also, this shade is the perfect match for me. I'll say that this has got medium coverage at max, not more than that. Also, I like a more natural finish with serum foundation, so I like using a sponge. So this is definitely going to absorb some product. Also, it feels very light on the skin. So this is what one layer looks like. I am also going to apply another layer around my mouth to cover pigmentation. So I still have this much product left. It doesn't cover a lot, so I'm not going to apply a very thick layer, just a thin, light layer. We can cover it with the concealer later. I really like this product overall, but I just don't like the consistency because it makes it really difficult to use it with your fingers and blend it in with your fingers. Also, I wore this for about four to five hours, day before yesterday, and it does wear really well. There's not a lot of creasing. I also used a very light layer, so Maybe that's why there was no creasing. You can see that this has a dewy finish. It's not too dewy. Next, I have the concealer. This is the Lamel Clear Complexion Concealer. This has tea tree oil and vitamin E. Now, the shade is sort of pink. I will say that, but it can help in cancelling out the dark circles that I have. So let's try it. By the way, this one is in the shade Caramel. I was thinking that Caramel will be a warm kind of shade, but this has got a cool sort of neutral cool kind of undertone. I also really like the packaging of this concealer. It has got a sponge. I'm going to try and use this. It has got a very chemical kind of scent. Let's try and blend it in with a sponge. Okay, I don't think we're going anywhere with this. I'm just going to use my sponge. Obviously, this is like a pink and dark shade because it looks darker than my foundation. This also has got like medium coverage. This doesn't cover or cancel my dark circles entirely. Maybe you let it sit under your eyes for a few seconds before blending it in then it will have more coverage. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up or not, but it actually looks very pink under my eyes. It's almost like a corrector shade. Next, I have a cream contour. This is the Lamel BB Contour. This has a semi-matte finish. Okay, so this is a very cool tone shade, as you can see. Now that I have it on the back of my hand, I'm just going to pick it up with my brush and contour my face. This is a very cool tone shade. It will look exactly like natural shadows. So I don't want to use a lot of it. I don't know. I feel that if I use too much, this is going to make me look more dead. 
Also, this shears out a lot. I don't know about the finish because this has got a dewy kind of finish on my hand. It's not too pigmented, so you can work with it even if you are a beginner. Okay, this shade is almost grey, so I'm not gonna use any more. The foundation doesn't oxidize, but can you see the concealer? It looks orange, especially in this area. Next is the Lamel BB Blush. This one is in the shade 401 T Rose. I think this is going to be a little bit light for my skin tone. Yeah, I think this can wash me out. Oh, this has a very beautiful dewy finish. I really like the finish and I think the shade looks okay after application but I just love the finish of this blush. I think it looks good when I sheared it out. This did work on my skin tone but I really like the finish. It's so dewy, it doesn't exaggerate the texture of my skin. It just looks dewy and flawless. Okay, so it's time to set the face and for that I have the Lamel Clear Face Compact Powder. This one is in the shade Soft Honey. I think this is a good shade for me. I can even use it without any makeup. It also mattifies very naturally. It's not in your face matte. It's not too matte, it's not drying. Even though I picked up a lot of powder. I forgot one product. This is the Lamel Hope Cream to Powder Highlighter. I was really excited to try this because, obviously because of the formula. It's a cream to powder highlighter. The shade looks really pretty. I'm just going to swatch it. It doesn't feel too silky, you know. It pretty much feels like a powder right from the beginning instead of a cream. It looks very dewy and it shears out a lot. I think that this highlighter is very finely milled because you cannot see any chunky glitter. This one is in the shade Sunrise. So I just picked that much. I'm going to shear it out a little on the back of my hand. And then just tap it. I like how the color looks from the side, even from the front, you can see it's not patchy and from the side it's giving me a beautiful glow. I think that can be because of the cream to powder formula, it's very blendable. You can shear this out a lot, but I don't think that this shade, the shade Sunrise is going to work on skin tones deeper than mine. It can wash you out if you're deeper than NC40. Okay, so next I have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Lamel Self Love Eyeshadow Palette. And this has got some amazing shades. I want to do a very glittery eye look today, so I'm going to start with this shade over here. I'm going to apply this all over my eyes. The brush I'm using is the Pack 393 just going to use this as my transition there's not going to be a lot of blending today so you probably don't even need a transition now i'm taking the plume p24 brush and picking up this shade from here i really like the mattes on this eyeshadow palette they are very blendable you also get some kickback but they are super blendable Just placing this on my outer corner plus crease and just blending it in with the transition brush. I'm also going to apply the dark brown shade on my lower lash line. And now before moving to the glitter, I am just going to pick this shade and use this as a base for the glitter. This already is very shiny and sort of glittery, but I'm going to use a purple glitter for today's look. There is something with the shades of this eyeshadow palette whenever I use it. My brown eyes just pop. I have the Lamel Insta Glitter Balm over here. This is for face and body. Let me just show you a swatch of this product. It has really beautiful shimmery glittery pigments. This looks so good, I want to apply this all over my eyes.
You don't even need a glitter glue. I really like this. It's super easy to use and it looks so glam. Okay, now I am going to try the mascara. This is the Lamel Hope Volume and Supreme Black Mascara. The wand is also very slim. I have already curled my lashes. This is a lengthening mascara. It works really good on my lower lashes, but it doesn't curl your lashes. It's not looking like I applied mascara on my upper lashes. And finally, let's move to lips. I have a couple of lip products from Lamel. First is their long lasting gel lip liner. This one is in number 403. Okay, this is like a very nude shade. It's kind of washing me out. This shade is probably good for skin tones lighter than me. Next is the Lamel All-in-One Tinted Lip Plumping Oil. This became my favorite the second I used it. And this is a very nourishing, a bit more viscous kind of lip oil. It smells very fruity. And the best thing is that this has got a very light tint. My base looks really good and pretty flawless. I love how the foundation looks on my skin. The blush has faded a lot. I also like the highlighter. So let's move on to products that I liked. Number one, the foundation. I really like it. I love how this looks on my skin. I think you will love it if you have dry skin. Next, I also like the cream to powder highlight because I feel that this is a very versatile product. You can use it with makeup, without makeup. The highlighter is very finely milled. It looks very natural on your skin. You can sheer it out a lot too. I also like the face and body glitter bomb. This looks so good on my skin. You can use it on your face, on your body. You don't need a glitter glue for this. Also, it doesn't transfer. It just sticks to your skin, so definitely worth the price. Let me show you. And finally, I love the lip oil. It has not got any plumping effect. I didn't feel even a slight tingling. So yeah, I won't say that this plumps your lips, but this has got a very beautiful shiny finish and a very light tint that I love. So those are my top four products. I just wish that they had more shades in the foundation because there are actually more shades available, but not in India. I hope that they launch their complete shade range in India too. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys find it helpful. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.